good evening to everyone. Health as always. And I come to you tonight with a little bit of telecast of twang. <laughs> Um, but there we go. So tonight we're looking at the fantastic Nashville picking style of the one and only Brent Mason. Um, as always, all the links I'm going to demonstrate to you are tabbed in the blog. So I'll put a link to that in the uh, you know, down there somewhere. And um, what I'm going to do is just walk you through them, show you a little bit in terms of fingering, a little bit in terms of picking technique, and uh, deal with some of the things that are a little bit easier shown rather than told. Okay, so the first of these examples is from his... Um, legendary now country track of his chicken picking tour de force it's called a uh, it's called hot wire and here's lick one <laughs> This is played during the kind of call and response sequence with the pedal steel guitar. Now, this is all largely in the key of A. I'm going to say probably rounds out as being around about A mixolydian. Um, if you're not familiar with A mixolydian, it's an A major scale with a flat 7. So A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And what we've got here is some parallel 6. So A and an F sharp, uh, E and a G sharp. F sharp and D, and then E and C sharp play together. And you can see that what I'm doing here is picking with the plectrum on the G string, and I'm bringing my middle finger around to pluck the high E string there. Very common to me. To give a little bit of a more percussive snap. And it's not just country players who do it, who do this. it's blues guys as well. Freddie King was a big use of this, as was allegedly Albert King. Um, and then we've got a little chicken picking sequence here. So I'm sliding into the F sharp, 7th fret on the B. And then I've got, you hear that little cluck. Now, there are various different ways to do chicken picking, as if you were to stick around with the guitar, there's usually lots of different ways to get most effects. But what I'm doing here is I'm muting with the bottom of my, of my middle finger there, locked underneath the B string, and I'm picking, and I get that kind of cluck sound there, which sounds <laughs> like a chicken, hence the name. You can hear that percussive in between each note. And it's a subtle little sound effect, but it really does add a nice kind of country Nashville edge to anything that you play. Now take a little normal blues lick and add in a little bit of chicken picking. And even the simplest kind of blues rock and roll phrase starts to take on a little bit more of a country edge. So just to reiterate then. Those little percussive snaps, picking with that middle finger locked under the, the string that I'm picking, and getting that snap. So moving on then to the second lick. Now this is a sort of a bluegrass inspired. You could largely look at this as being in the key of G, although there is so much chromaticism that you know you can put pretty much anything you really fancy. Um, I've tabbed this all in 16th, which is more or less accurate. <laughs> My rhythmic notation skills are not, uh, they're a work in progress, let's put it kindly. So I'll group this all into fours. I think it's best to have a look at that. So here's the first group of four. C sharp major third, then moving chromatically from E flat to E, so I've got the blue scale flat five in there. And then E and F, and that's pure chromaticism. D, G flat, cut E, F. And that's big four. four e, you couldn't, if you 
towards bringing that middle finger to hybrid pick B string. And then on the second bar, here's my first group of fourths. So A pulls off the G sharp and then down to the F and into the G, like I said, which chop flow come out, so from here. I wouldn't worry too much about trying to analyse where all these individual pitches fit in within the key. It's just it's colour, it's texture, it's flavour. These lines are running by so fast you're not really noticing them for what they are. So first group of four, second group of four, got a chromatic slide here. Lots of different fingers you could use. seems to be most comfortable for me. So one, E, and uh, two, and then onto beat three. And there oh, I naturally find myself bringing the middle finger. Just pick that B string. actually pause for breath. Till I had all these licks up to speed, you'd be looking at getting this video sometime in the 2040s. So let's move on then to the slightly more relaxed Cayman Moon, and uh, this is in the key of E flat. This is where you'll hear Brent Mason do uh, some of his more jazzy tricks. Uh, so, what I've got here on this first one. So, here's my first group of four. There's a natural break in the phrasing. And then coming down. And then coming down again. And again, I've kind of covered the phrasing and stuff about the theory behind this one in the uh, in the vlog. One thing I would just like to show you, because you're going to notice this again. Very simple. You see we've got here an E-shaped arpeggio. Now this is actually an E-flat chord. It's my G, E-flat, D-flat, third, fifth. And I slid into that from the G-flat, which is a minor third. And finishing on the G note, the major third. The interplay between minor and major third, that's really where you get the heart of blues and what's it, country, blues, jazz, they're all kind of different sides. Well, I guess not the same coin, but of the same freakish three-sided shape. Um, please put down in the comments whatever you think that might be called. So we'll move on to the final one. And again, we've got a lot more chromaticism here. This is Cayman Moon again. <laughs> So here I'm sliding, um, but I think it's probably better to do that initial slide from F to F sharp, 6 to 7, with the third finger, because that then sets your little finger up nice and slide from G up to B flat, and walk down chromatically down to the G flat. And then there's the tension there, we're getting the beat in there. Now that right there is actually a sharp one. And then moving down. So we've got that slight edge of tension from the sharp five, the B over the E flat root. And then we've got our friend the E flat power cut powerful. The E flat arpeggio cutting again. Sliding from minor third into major root and then down to fifth. So there we go, 
hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's proved useful. Do please remember to like and subscribe um, for more content, more free guitar lessons. Click that that uh, like, smash a subscribe. It's YouTube. You know what to do. You're probably better at it than I am. And uh, I will see you again in a month's time uh, for the one and only Mr. Paul Gilbert. So look out for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, meantime, do check out the blog. Uh, there's a link to Brad Paisley's Hot Wired album. Brad Paisley? Brent Mason's Hot Wired album, um, which I do recommend you check out because he's just an absolute masterclass in guitar playing. And, and uh, often a different genre from stuff that you, you see covered, certainly by um, um, Brits like myself. We don't tend to... We don't tend to deal with Nashville country uh, guitar stuff too much, but um, it's well worth a listen. I can definitely, uh, can definitely recommend that. Anyway, all the rest, um, peace. Yeah, see you next week.